On commercial sites, there's generally a large proportion of impervious area due to the size of the building footprint as well as the amount of parking needed. Uh, this means that there can be quite a lot of rainwater runoff as well as potential for pollution, which is why we really need to consider uh, integrating how we manage rainwater into these sites so we can protect downstream ecosystems and watershed health. Integrated stormwater management is about looking at a development or a project as a whole watershed approach, um, looking at how human development in the watershed affects the quality of the stormwater. And that's something that we kept in mind throughout this project, so that we looked at not only how we were developing the site, how that was gonna impact stormwater, but also the areas surrounding the site. And was there anything that we could do to improve the surrounding neighborhood? And ultimately that was what we did. Uh, if, if you ever saw this site before this building, this addition was made, it was uh, a warehouse building with a big parking lot in front of it. Uh, we had a few trees here and a lawn where you guys are standing. And all the water that came off the building, the parking lot, and, and the, the roads went into a drain, more or less untreated, traveled down a pipe down the road that we're in front of here, and entered into a Squimalt Harbor. The, the design and redevelopment of this site actually began to restore it to uh, a performance with respect to watershed management that was pre-development, since the parking lot paid no, atten no attention to that. But by actually redeveloping it with a full building with two levels of underground parking, we were able to negotiate uh, the water management for the site to be more natural than it was with the simple surface parking lot. The design intent is to reduce the storm water runoff by at least 25%. 80% of the total suspended solids and 40% of the total phosphates are removed from any water reaching the storm water pipes and the entire building consumes 60% less potable water than a typical modern commercial building of a similar size. We think those are pretty good specs. Integrated watershed management requires a certain degree of dedication from the design team and the construction team as well, and of course the client. Um, reliable Controls invested in green roofs and rain gardens when they uh, committed to having the, all the extra excavation that's required to achieve the necessary soil depths for the rain gardens. The green roofs on the project, um, what they basically do is they, they serve a dual purpose. They both clean the water and slow it down. In a natural environment, um, trees, plants, soil absorb water, they absorb pollutants and clean them. And they also slow the rate of the water flow so that you don't have erosion, so that you don't have sedimentation of downstream systems. But the green roofs and the cistern system, uh, along with the courtyard, um, water catchment system uh, that's been turned into a decorative device uh, are all integrated to take care of the water that falls on the site and take some of it and reuse it for watering, take some of it, uh, store it and use it for flushing toilets and then take some of it, the overflows it especially, and then reintroduce them into the landscape adjacent to the building. So very little of the water that falls on the site will ever get to a storm sewer. The street biosoil system is independent of the system which is on private property. It has two curb inlets which receive water running off the street and absorb it into their deep sandy soil beds. What, what this does is it takes water from the road, uh, which has a lot of oils and sediments and contaminants in it, uh, puts it into the landscape. Uh, we slow that water down. That gives the sediments and a lot of the, the pollutants time to settle onto, into the rain garden. Uh, and it also has a pooling capacity, so we get infiltration of water. That's where we get a lot of the cleaning occurring. I'd really like to congratulate um, Reliable Controls. They've been an exemplary client and I think an exemplary corporate citizen. Uh, all the people here are of one mind, and this building and the, its development demonstrates a, a commendable uh, move towards the, the green building. Uh, uh, movement of Canada. So congratulations.